Well, it's um, week four of the 90 day challenge and um, it sure has been a journey. We've gone through a lot of stuff. In fact, just over the last week, we've seen, um, we've seen God's people turn against him. Uh, we've seen, you know, like the downward spiral of God's people as they, uh, you know, in the book of Judges, as they turn to their evil gods and then back to the Lord and back. It's been pretty crazy. And, um, you know, it's only week four and we're already 10 books of the Bible in. So we only have 56 more to go and um, only uh, about a little over two months to do it. So hope you guys are still doing good on your reading. Keep each other accountable, um, help each other out. It'll, it'll really uh, help the process if you guys are doing this together. I know there's a couple small groups, um, a guys group and a girls group. Tiara and Ashley are running the girls group and Brian is running the, the guys group. So maybe try to get plugged into one of those. But uh, you know, I just wanted to, real quick talk about some of the stuff that's been going on in the book um, so far. It, it was interesting because at the very end of Joshua, uh, where we finished up last week, um, Joshua made the challenge to the people. They had seen all of all that God was able to do and he said, choose today whom you will serve. Either all of these false gods that you made with your hands and they can't talk or eat or defend themselves or choose the God who has been faithful to you. And so he put the challenge out there, and of course you guys know what he said at the very end, Joshua 24, he said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And so the challenge was made, and unfortunately, the book of Judges uh, started off by, um, you know, the people going into sin. And of course, God is always faithful, they would cry out to him in repentance and he'd raise somebody up and save them and there was even the awesome stories of Gideon, this guy who was just totally outnumbered. There was uh, Samson who God used mightily because um, he had big muscles like me. And also, um, you know, lots of, lots of great stuff. After the book of Judges, they decided they wanted a king like all the other nations and you know, it, it's so such a tendency of ours to want to be like the rest of the world but it's a dangerous place to be and so just like the rest of the world they wanted a king and so Samuel was there God's anointed prophet and he uh, anointed Israel's first king and that was Saul and of course eventually ha only halfway through the book of first Samuel God already um, had removed the kingdom from Saul because of his unfaithfulness so um, it's been it's been a journey that's for sure and uh, God has always been faithful, always will be faithful, and I encourage you guys with that because um, especially as you're reading, you're going to continue to see it, but there will be a lot of temptation to forget it. So keep going, um, you know, even as we progress, David was the second king, and he was of course the man after God's own heart, but even him, he wasn't perfect. And you see uh, the rise of David from just a young, dirty, smelly shepherd boy to the king of Israel. Um, but halfway through 2 Samuel, he you know, eventually commits adultery and murder to cover up his sin. And so we know that even those who are doing their best to be faithful fall at times as well. So be encouraged that David, even this man of God, was a human and he messed up. But remember that God doesn't put up with it and your sin will always find you out. So keep going. Proud of you guys for reading. And uh, I believe God's going to do great things through it. So keep it up. There was something there that was holding her back. Never knowing.